everyone, Federico here, and today is the day. Or actually yesterday was the day. Max 9, easier. Let's do like a quick walkthrough on everything that is new in Max. I'm not gonna like go deep into stuff today, but uh, I'm going to do that in the next videos, especially on the jitter stuff. But today let's just let's just go through and see what we got. So I made a post on my Patreon here, and uh, there's a bunch of links. Max 9 is out. Uh, for example, products second74.com products max9 you can see this uh, introduction to max9 so max9 is the biggest uh, max release since 2018 so it was quite some time ago that a major version came out and uh, there is so much stuff as you may probably have noticed i was not very active in the past months especially the past month and that's because i was working on the release of max9 as you may or may not know, I'm uh, working with cycling on the jitter side of Max, and so yeah, that's, let's see what's been cooking. Uh, introducing a new version of Max that is more direct, more transparent, is full of inspiring new features that will spark your curiosity. New collection of audio objects based on Ableton's ABL library, the biggest jitter update in years, interface improvements, conning workflows, and much more. Now, um, what does it mean more direct? Well, there is something like code box everywhere, which I think it really fits with the direct adjective here, because we can now use code box for everything. So let me show you what this means. Like if I create a new object here, ggl.pix.codebox, I got a code box here, like the one I could have inside a ggl.pix code box. So I could have done something like this inside a normal ggl.pix. I could have gone inside and created here a code box, but I can now do it directly in the patcher. So that's extremely cool. And here I can write code using the gen language, so out one equal equal in one plus uh, multiplied by two, for example, something like that. And this we can use for JIT gen, we can use it, so JIT gen dot code box, we can use it for gen dot code box, and we also got a new JavaScript engine. Um, before we could only use JavaScript AS up to five, and now we get the power of the new JavaScript engine, so a six plus version. And the object to work with the new JavaScript is called B8. So I can write like B8, I can even write V8.codebox, otherwise I can just load a file and say like something like post, hello, and these will execute the code just like that right and so this is the new engine it means we can use like stuff like let and we can use stuff like const so all the latest javascript features and we can also use like arrow functions so something uh, like this like the arrow functions which have some different properties than normal functions in javascript Woo! So all these sort of stuff, awesome new JavaScript syntax. We can also use classes, which is a big thing for me personally. So we can use like classes, we can structure and stuff, all the goodies, right? And we're going to see how to do these sort of things in the next videos. Oh, one great thing is that we can also now embed the files with the um, uh, with the objects. So for example, here there is a new attribute which is embed, say JavaScript with uh, with a patcher. So if I open this here now and I write like something, oh, and this is a new editor by the way, right? As you can see, it gives us autocomplete. I don't know if I can actually zoom in. I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, we can like, we can like save it and it will be saved with the patcher. So if now I save this patcher and I just close it and then I reopen it, and I reopen here, uh, you can see that the code has been saved with the patcher and that's awesome. And it also works like with GGL slab and all the text-based uh, objects, like of course with dictionaries. And I'm not sure if this was actually already in Max 8, but yeah, of course it works with dictionary as well. And so let's go back to the introduction here we got the abl objects this is a bunch of uh, uh, objects that um, that mirror some or actually use some algorithms from ableton uh, devices so i'm not really like big on audio as you know but uh, yeah this is this is big per se i think so there is a bunch of new stuff which mimics what you get in ableton 
So yeah, that's super awesome to just quick punch it. Very cool sounds using these pre-made modules, which use like complex algorithms. Patching with code is what I just told you about the code box everywhere. New V8, a object for JavaScript, AS6+, uh, Jitter Geometry, now that's a big one. Uh, there is a new, completely new paradigm. Uh, it's not based on matrices, it's based on geometry. And we're going to see like, in the next videos what, how this works. But yeah, basically, yeah, we get a whole bunch of new objects and if we open an help file, for example, of GGOM waves, uh, you can see that uh, we get red cables. So this is something completely new. And with the geometry, there is a bunch of built-in algorithms like subdivide and uh, uh, waves, and there's so many more. Actually, if you unlock the patch and go in the sidebar in objects, you can see a list of all the geometry objects. If we go into Jitter geometry here, algorithms, converters, deformers, there's so many, which we're going to see in the next videos. This is awesome. encourage you to start checking it out. Jitter effects, that's another big thing. Basically, um, you remember all the shaders that uh, are built in with Max, but that we never really used. Now they became Jit effects and a bunch more have been added. So for example, Jit effects GA flow field where GA is for generative and let's go in the help file and uh, look at that what's that that's that's crazy basically it's a bunch of new objects uh which under the hood they're either javascript wrappers around slab uh, files around the shaders or they're pure shaders slab files or ggl pixels and they provide a large number of built-in like video effects so this is only works on textures right jitter effects again if we go on the sidebar and we go in the list of objects here we can see all the different ones compositors effects we have the familiar ones like blur brass beer cozy conway delay and delay i think is new actually and there is a bunch of them and this is possible that we have these new objects based on javascript or just pure shaders because now there is a way to define objects yourself so you can create like a javascript file uh, create a Define message for Max, and this will transform that JavaScript file into a proper Max object with attributes and stuff. As you can see, we get like attributes here that we can recall using the attri object. So, uh, they basically, you can create your own Max object like much better than abstractions because uh, the difference with abstractions is that you can create your own attributes. This also brings me to the next awesome feature, which is parameter connect. Okay, so this is kind of mind blowing, but let's create like a flow num here. I think that zooming has been reversed. That's why I'm kind of weirdly zooming out instead of zooming in. Um, and there is a new attribute, which is parameter connect and you click on it and it will give you like all the possible attributes and parameters inside like GGL slab or JITFX or um, JITGen. And so, for example, in GFXGE flow field here, we can select like filter, and now we can uh, modify these uh, flow num and modify that parameter. Why well, before we should have done something like park filter f, and that would have worked. But oh, you can see that actually, when I change it through another means, this change as well here. And so instead of doing that, now we can just avoid cables, avoid stuff and just say param connect. Okay, connect to that attribute. And then if you want to change, you can connect it to another attribute. And then it's all very smooth and fast. I mean, this is uh, this is pretty awesome. And like if we create ourselves, I don't know, JIT gen here. And we create a param and call it like, whoa. I mean, when I go here, then I can also select the new JITGEN parameter, woo, and I can change it. Now you don't see anything changing, but it's been changed. So, also, that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go down and probably your patch if live. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but Max now looks really cool with these uh, syntax eye lighting. So when I create a new object, like JITGEN, and then uh, is yellow, and then uh, this is the default theme. And then the attributes are going to be blue. And then the value of the attributes is like this pinkish, orangish. Um, so there is like this default syntax I lighting. We can change the themes, of course. So if we go into max preferences 
and then we look for theme we can look at the syntax color theme and then we can change the syntax highlighting colors which is pretty cool uh i think i like the default one but you can choose whatever you like oh this is lemony mm -hmm. well, it's some pretty cool color combinations here i think i will stick with the default for a moment and then we can change of course the whole color theme uh and this is uh this is real cool it offers kind of a big level of customization i will again stay with the default one but yeah you get the idea okay let's see what it says the introduction here towards full improvements improvements to the max environment that will enhance the way you patch play and explore um for example we get this icon in the side by which patcher list view which shows you like all the objects in the patcher like what the heck is that i can really see the objects see their values i cannot even start to fathom for how useful this is anyway that's just one of the many great improvements oh the global record button you can basically press this button it will record whatever is going on in the patcher in the audio side of the patcher and if you don't have anything uh, if you have don't have any audio but you have like a jit world going on this will this will show the fps so instead of using like jit fps gui gui uh, this was kind of the old way we can now just see the fps being here automatically uh that's so cool and preset mixing uh now preset can do interpolation by itself so we don't need anymore to path storage or something we can just like interpolate between the different presets just like that like between one and two we interpolate between presets one and two <laughs> i mean this is just so useful command your patcher with the rappel um all this stuff i think i'm going to comment uh, later on something that i missed is yeah uh, gty objects this is something that i worked a lot myself on so it's something that i will gladly show you in the next videos but basically what this is is like a graphical interface in the rendering window right so you can create the buttons toggles group them together there is even a number object there is even a slider object and we can and you can like resize them using the mouse and you can move them around the patch using the mouse and you can change the appearances in a lot of ways i think we're going to spend quite some time talking about this but yeah this is also something that is inside max 9 jitter oh 3d widgets this is also extremely big now if we go into jit world help file for example and let's say Okay, this is maybe not the perfect patch to show you. Let me actually close that and show you something. This one is good. So uh, there is like, instead of using a JIT GL handle, now we can use this how to handle mess uh, attribute for JIT world. And we have these new, uh, we can call them, uh, I don't know, widgets. And basically they allow us to rotate, scale and translate objects in the world like you will find in any other 3d rendering software like for example like in unity or blender this sort of stuff and you can rotate so this is awesome and then what else we got is gizmos so we can now see where the lights are in the scene for example and we can move them now this is direction light, so it doesn't really matter if we move it, but we can rotate it. Uh, we can move uh, spotlight and we will see this cone of influence of the spotlight, right? We can modify the cone using the mouse. So how cool, how cool is that? Uh, we even have a widget for the camera that you can, as you can see, is like being captured by this node here. So is uh, giving us a few of the scene from that angle right but yeah this is awesome this uh this triangle here on the top shows you where the top of the camera is looking at so that's that's another great thing there are so many cool things i encourage you to check out these uh this uh, link here we'll put in the description uh the documentation now is so is being completely renewed and it's all online so we can check it from doc 74 
you can open it directly from Max as well. And now the documentation is so much, goes so much more in depth. Like for example, if you go into Jitter and we go into render passes, it really explains you like super well what is going on. Like this was, this is something that was not there before. Okay, cool. So I cannot wait to show you some of these um, features in like more specific videos. We will go in depth into some or all of this stuff. We got time now, right? Cool. So I will see you around. Enjoy the new release and uh, have fun.